So it was the by-elections yesterday, or very early this morning, and the pundits reckon it's a sign that Labour and Keir Starmer will be in government at the next general election. God help us all. And I don't understand why people still vote for the top three parties, even more so Lib Dems, because they won a seat, and it's just... I, I don't understand at all, because that party is a joke. They are completely out of touch. If you thought the Tories, the Conservatives and Labour were out of touch, then the Lib Dems are just insane. So anyway, Labour won the Selby and Ainsty seat, and the lad who won it, yes, I mean lad, is a 25-year-old Oxford graduate who works in public relations and formerly served as a parliamentary researcher for a shadow cabinet member, Wes Streeting. So basically he studied politics in Oxford, worked as a researcher for an MP and then got elected. He's 25 years old. Now this guy once described Jermaine Greer as an abhorrent transphobe. So we know clearly where he's coming from and definitely where he's going. And he will be the very definition of a career politician. But the thing is, he has no life experience. So why on earth would people vote for this lad? He is a little boy basically. He has no life experience. He clearly comes from a wealthy, comfortable, middle-class family and has absolutely no concept or grasp of people struggling to make ends meet and having a normal, proper job. And yet here he is, elected by the people, allegedly, and he will now be in a position to make laws that govern us. But I guess they need to keep the rot going in Parliament somehow, don't they, so they get some fresh blood in. Now, I'm not sure any of you know this, but it is a fact that the vast majority of members of Parliament are all lawyers there, former barristers and lawyers. That's their trade. And we should have more working class people in there representing the people rather than someone like this young lad, Keir Mather, who has had his life mapped out in front of him since birth. And this lad, he won't be fighting for the working class either. The downtrodden people who are trying to make their way through life and work, provide for their families, etc. I can guarantee you this youngster, he will be a crusader. He will be campaigning on behalf of damaging woke policies. And I suspect the constituents of Selby and Ainsty will see their council tax uh, raised significantly in order to pay for them. But there we go. You get what you vote for, don't you? And that's my video. Hope you like. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout.